Good evening from Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Yes, this is where we are We are going to have dinner tonight. And um, yeah, there's a reason why you don't see either me or Steve in this shot. And that's because we look like monsters. You know how when you're planning your Disney vacation, you just have all these high hopes that everything's just gonna go swimmingly and you're gonna look nice. You're gonna go have a nice dinner somewhere, but then, <laughs> the plan the plan just kind of like you know the wheels kind of come off the what do you, what's that expression see i can't even talk right guys let's go up this staircase here so we were at animal kingdom this afternoon and it was a scorcher it was a very hot day and we got sticky and sweaty it was you know but you know we figured we would go back to our uh apartment or you know the the unit we're staying in and we were gonna have plenty of time to shower change refreshen up or freshen up rather i even picked out this really cute shirt caleb was gonna wear tonight little quick look at the pool there um yeah so what happened was we decided you know we have just enough time to go on dinosaur uh let's go do that and then we'll leave the park and head back to our place well we got on dinosaur and within 30 seconds the ride broke down. We got stuck on it. Uh, yeah, we got stuck on Dinosaur and we were on there for quite a while before we were evacuated off. But by the time we got out of there, we were like, we don't have enough time to go back and freshen up. So we came right here, figured maybe we'd check up Tambu Lounge, grab a quick drink before dinner. But yeah, here we are. We're at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. We're in good spirits. We're gonna have a great dinner tonight here at Ohana. See, it's red this way. Oh yeah. Caleb is playing his Tears of the Kingdom. Steve is over there grabbing a quick drink for us. And so, yeah, as of right now, we got about 20 minutes until our dining reservation. So, yeah, just enough time. Oh, and here comes Steve. I'm guessing this is the Lapu Lapu. Lapu Lapu, so <laughs> might as well start off strong, right? I want an umbrella and your umbrella. You want the umbrella? I want the umbrella you like. I got lots of What color you want? Thank you. Make sure you say thank you when she goes back, okay? I have to admit, I gave the most dramatic intro to this video. Oh I was telling him how we don't look, we don't look our best. Oh, and little man got a Shirley Temple. How is it? Good. Good? I don't eat this cherry. Yeah. Yeah, I told him how, I told everybody how we got stuck on Dinosaur for quite a while. Yes. And we got evacuated off. There's no air conditioning, by the way, <laughs> when they do shut down a ride. We were in a vacant area that there was no blowing airs. So. Yeah, we didn't have enough time to go back to the place and freshen up, so here we are. Which was the original plan. Yeah. But, oh well, the plans go out the window. We are here straight from the park, just like probably most of the families are. This so. is the other thing we should mention. We have hats on. We were going to go home and do our hair, because I know we get ripped up in the comments if we wear hats at dinner, but... Sorry. <laughs> Blame it on Dinosaur. Okay, we did check in on the mobile app and they let us know that our table was ready, so we're heading on in. Welcome in here. This is called a play. <laughs> awesome. You say thank you again. You're so welcome. Have a great dinner. Okay, we have sat down. We have a really yeah. nice um, view by the window. We have a little bit of a 360 view, so yeah. it's pretty nice out here. So we've actually never uh, been seated on this side. It's right. behind the actual grill, so or the kitchen. So a uh, new experience for us. What? That's not it. As most of you know, I'm sure this is like a family style buffet. Like, what do they call that when it's buffet is brought to your table? Is it just like, it's served family style, yeah, right? That's family what they style. say? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna get everything brought to our table. They did give us this menu here, but it looks like this is just the cocktails. Yes, yeah, so it's wine, cocktails, and mocktails. Okay, yeah. perfect. <laughs> mocktails. And the lady, the server at Tambu Lounge, took a liking to Little Man over here and brought him a Shirley Temple with two umbrellas. Just to give you some perspective, so as Steve mentioned, we are sitting right here. There's the entrance right there. And then just behind me, you can see kind of like, you know, the back side of the hotel where you would enter or rather exit um, to go to the pool. So the last time we were here, it was actually for breakfast and we didn't vlog it, but it was literally the week of COVID. It was the week before everything closed down. But the last time we were here to enjoy dinner, little man, he was a tiny little dude. That was such a fun night. And that was actually one of our very first vlogs. Our appetizers oh, here are our mixed green salad, our coconut pineapple bread, and our 
Brutal's waste plastic is important. Awesome. Our first course, or our appetizers, I guess you could say, has arrived. And so here we've got the mixed green salad. Um, we've got the sweet bread with a little bit of butter. And then I think this is what everybody comes in here for. We've got the honey coriander wings. We've got the noodles. We've got the dumplings. We've got some veggies. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I am gonna go ahead, I'm not wasting any time. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these pot stickers. I want a wing and you gotta dig into those noodles. So we didn't vlog, but we were, all three of us were sitting here just in complete Rabbit. silence. See? <laughs> yeah. You know the food's good when you're sitting there <laughs> silently eating, like oh no one's goodness. talking. I forgot how much I enjoyed the noodles here. Yeah. I mean, everything else is really good, but the noodles are just like... I feel like it's one of those things where everything on this skillet is just pure comfort food. Yeah. It's just so, it's just hitting the spot. And you also have to like slow yourself down knowing what's to come. So right. we actually just dropped off some of yes. the steak and some of the shrimp. So they used to serve this table side where they had skewers and they walked around and they asked you how right. much meat of each kind that you want on your plate. It looks like, you know, post COVID, they're definitely doing a little bit more of a controlled situation where they're bringing the bowls to your table and you enjoy what you want. So uh, I kind of appreciate that. Sure, that's great. So mm -hmm. it's less of the showmanship, but right. I do. I remember our first vlog and that guy, he like played up to the camera. Oh and yeah. I absolutely loved it. So <laughs> we should link that one down below. The steak is good, I like it. Um, it seems to cook nicely, it's a little dry, but it does have a really good sauce on it, which kind of helps with the yeah. situation. Um, but yeah. It's, so it's a little dry, it's sauce helps. Yes, um, I mean, this is kind of what you expect when you come here to a place like this, where everything is just made so in like giant batches, yeah. I'm sure, and served out to all the tables. It is essentially a buffet, but I do, I, I really like it. Okay, what temperature was your steak? I don't know. It looks like it's probably about a medium. Okay, well that's not bad. Especially in, you know, bulk batched steaks. So. For sure. Yeah. And we just received our third entree. This is the chicken with chimichurri. Looks great. Okay, so the shrimp, it's, it's very tasty, but just so you know, it's peel on and you gotta peel off the shrimp. Right. But I think with that, that might dissuade Mike from trying it. <laughs> okay. He doesn't, well we already talked about it. He doesn't like his food to look like what it looks like in the real life, but it definitely still has the flippers on it a bit. So <laughs> yeah. what I will do is I might prepare some shrimp for him without it and see what he Like a nice little bite or something? <laughs> Huh? Like a nice little bite or something? Yeah, Okay. you got it. Okay. I do have to say, the chicken is good. It, it doesn't have a ton of flavor aside from the chimichurri sauce. So as long as you get a bite with chimichurri sauce, you're good. All right, Caleb. <laughs> What's your favorite, the, shrimp, the chicken, steak, or shrimp? Oh, okay, goofball, that's what we get. What do you like, you like the shrimp or the steak? I like. What's that one, the dumpling? The dumpling, that's your favorite? It is good. Okay, so I am over here trying to decide what my favorite thing has been. What would you say your favorite thing has been so far? Of the proteins, I would say steak and then shrimp right behind that, which okay. can be my least favorite. I think the chimichurri is definitely, just like the steak, the sauce makes the entire thing. For sure. But the chimichurri doesn't really do much to make it the star. So yeah, okay. Thing. And then when you get into the actual family style stuff, I'm going back for those noodles. Those noodles are so good. And typically I'm a chicken wing kind of person, but those are so good. Mm -hmm. I know the noodles are super popular. I have to say though, um, I do think they're good. They're maybe just a smidge gummy, but the flavor is right there. It is awesome. I do have to say though, I think my favorite thing are the wings, but as you can see, oh no, there's one dumpling left. We ate all, the, all but one dumplings. Those were very, very good. We, we did not have any salad, so. <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't even touch our salad. <laughs> um, oh, but the bread was good. I got that last. I didn't want to fill up on the bread, but it was very good because it served with the honey butter. Yeah. So it makes it almost like a little bit of a, like a dessert at the beginning. Exactly, and we do have to save room for dessert. So there's that. Huh? These two are just goofballing around. <laughs> okay, so not only did they bring us some boxes, we can take over our leftovers, which I really appreciate, because I hate to see all this food go to waste. 
Um, but they also brought over some warm towels. You can see the steam coming off them. So we have something to wipe our hands down before dessert. Oh, surprise. <laughs> Ice cream if you want ice cream more, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. You like ice cream? Okay. Thank you. You guys. Thank you. Yes, sir. Would you like me to put the sauce on top? It's really good. That's pineapple, coconut, bread pudding. Go slowly. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And I think most of us Disney folk, we know what this is. This is the Ohana bread pudding. Or as our server, he said it was a pineapple coconut bread pudding. So if you're wondering, if you're curious to know what the flavors are exactly, and then it is served a la mode with some ice cream on top, and then he put that pineapple caramel drizzle on top, and it looks like Little Man. Oh, let me get some focus there. Yeah, you know. You got your own dessert, right? Yeah, and I'm done. I want to have some blueberries. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Everything else has been served family style, so I think we're gonna go the same route when we eat this. I'm going to get a little bite here. Oh. Lost my ice cream there. How was that dessert? That was delicious. Okay, we're gonna talk about this for a bit because I have to admit, I was a little skeptical. I knew I've had this before, but I was like, I wonder if it's one of those things where maybe I remembered it being a little bit better than it was. And I'm like, watch, I'm gonna show up and it's gonna be dry or something. No, it is fantastic. I'm getting some coconut in there as well. Yeah, well he said, you know, it's so funny. Like I, I was mentioned, I don't know if you heard me. I was like, this is the Ohana bread pudding. When he set it down, he described it as the pineapple coconut bread pudding. Okay, no, oh, it's so good. It's yeah. delicious. And you know, frankly, the vlog we mentioned, the first vlog we did this, like actually, we were doing this on iPhone. Yep. And somehow, some way, it got flipped towards. Um, it was like in time lapse. Time it was in time lapse. It was time lapse. So <laughs> you blink, you miss it. <laughs> this time we were able to enjoy it. Like, yes. Did you get it right? Yes, we this got time it. We, we got it. Right, awesome. It's so good. Oh. I don't even know how to describe it. You can just see it. A, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? It is so delicious. Little man has been enjoying his Rice Krispie right? treat, but I told him he's got to try this. <laughs> Which one do you like better? Both. Both? Okay. Nah, that's very diplomatic of you. <laughs> One is superior to the other. For sure. <laughs> but from a kid's palate, maybe the Rice Krispies really hit me. So we kept on telling Caleb what's it's going to be like coming back to Hawaii and coming here at the Polynesian Village yeah. Resort. And he definitely says it feels like that. One thing that would make this an absolute Hawaiian experience is if we had a nice, warm cup of Kona coffee to go with this dessert. So, funny you should say that. I was actually looking at the menu before we came. You can get that here. Oh, you can? It is in the form of a French press. Okay. It was $9. It says it serves two people, but it Not says bad. it was 100% Kona coffee by Joffrey's. By Joffrey's? Right. Interesting. But, I mean, they we must got, source it. So. Right, because we got 100% Kona coffee from Starbucks when we were there. Yeah, just but recently. Starbucks is not Joffrey's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And thus concludes our dinner at Ohana. I think while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and check out the shop. I forget what it's called, but we've, we've always visited the shop anytime we're here for Trader Sam's or Ohana or uh, the- Kona other, Cafe. Kona Cafe, the other <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Here's the name of it, the Boutique. Okay, how did we forget a name like that? Let's head on in. Right at the entrance, they get all the fun glassware. They have these tumblers that say Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Uh, the Hippopotamai Tai glass we've seen at Trader Sam's. Oh, this is neat. I haven't seen this before. It says it's a seven piece hospitality set. It is $19.99. That's cute. I guess you, I don't know, like, I don't know what you would use this for exactly, but uh, cause this dish is a little small, but it's cute. Of course, you've got the Honolulu Cookie Company cookies here. That is so fun. As if you saw our um, Hawaii vlogs when we were in Maui, we went to this shop. Okay, see, so you've already found something pretty awesome here. So this is the box it comes in, but what is it? So you get two mug sets. So you get this typical craft cocktail one, 
Dive, dive. Trader it's, Sam's. It's Trader Sam's. And then you get this. Watch out, buddy, please. And you get this group punch bowl one, which is a huge boat, as you can see. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty that's cool. That's cool. How much is it? Uh, let me check. $50? That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. Because typically you would have to buy the actual cocktail plus the mug in actual Trader Sam's right. to get it, right? And I imagine the cocktail itself is going to be like 40 bucks. So that's yeah. pretty cool. This is really cute. Disney's Polynesian Village. It's like a little coconut mug. That's cute. This is $19.99. Okay, here's something for all of us spa people. This is a Disney's Polynesian Village Resort robe. Um, so this is $99.99. But it's nice. It's got a nice like texture to it and the inside is kind of like a really soft towel. That's awesome. Okay, Steve found another tiki mug for us. Yeah, I was wondering like why I couldn't take it off. They've super glued it on. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if they're like concerned people will take it, but clearly uh -huh. like you see super glued. It's meant for a straw and the 50th anniversary. So that's kind of cool. They got a pride section here, Disney pride. Um, you know, I have to say, I think I saw this shirt. I don't know if I saw it online or in other people's vlogs and I wasn't crazy about it, but seeing it in person, it's actually really cute. I like the color scheme of it. I mean, obviously it's rainbow, but the colors are like not, I mean, I don't know. It's just like the, the, the shades of the colors look really nice. All right, and that's gonna do it for us tonight here at Ohana. We had a great time here as always. The food was delicious. We ate yeah. too much for yeah, sure. But uh, like Mike said, we were able to bring some home, so we have this uh, delicious food that we get to enjoy over the next few days. For sure. Everything was really great. This is definitely like an iconic like Disney World staple. So if you're kind of curious like whether or not this is going to be for you, yeah. take it from us. It's awesome. It's quite the experience, and we always have a lot of fun with it. We do, not to mention the great view. We did see the castle and the entire view of Magic Kingdom, so it's worth it in our opinion. Well, we hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our Magic family to yours, enjoy. enjoy.